Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss one more topic about EDI that is EDI and C X12 envelope structure details. So as we know EDI is electronic data interchange. It's a standard data format by which a business document can exchange between two trading partners electronically two trading partners means two business entities one sender you can say source and one is receiver you can say target so when two trading partners like decided will exchange the data in EDI format so how they are going to send it's not like they can send in their own ways in their own data structure uh, design they if trading partners any business uh, business partner would like to send the data to any other in a EDA format so they have to follow certain standard that is like for EDA EDA and CX12 so it's like envelope you are you will have all data you will keep within a as a predefined structure and you enclose within a header and trailer and you have to send to customer then only system can understand so because when EDA transactions usually processed in any system there will be predefined structure you cannot go beyond that if the system will receive a EDI file as per the proper structure proper format if it will compliance with the standard then only the data can process so let's discuss how the structure of the ANSI X12 so as I said it's like envelope envelope we are enclosing everything inside we are covering within a header or trailer part and then we are sending so let's see how the envelope should be so envelope would be EDA envelope would be there will be you can say there are three envelopes one is interchange control control envelope that is you will have interchange control header and for ending there will be like interchange control trailer and within the interchange control header this is a header part this is static you cannot change that one you cannot uh, for one EDI file there so there will be one interchange control uh, envelope structure header and the header will will have a trailer part and inside that within the interchange there will be m groups what is that group that's this is a functional group the functional group will have a functional group header and a functional group trailer like like a starting point and ending point so that system can understand okay this is the group structure and then inside that that real data like purchase order invoice acknowledgement so all this real data we are saying that the real EDA data uh, structure will pass through the transaction header and transaction trailer so here this is a completely EDA envelope and CX12 has three parts you can say three layers one is interchange control header then interchange a functional group header then transaction header let's discuss how it's how the structure has defined with the segment so in case of interchange control header you in EDI file you will if 
if you will find there is a IS segment and uh, IA segment that means it's a interchange control header that means to identify interchange control header there will be ISA and IA this is the envelope header and trailer and for functional group you will have GS and G GS is the functional group header and GS will G is functional group trailer for transaction header it will be ST and for transaction trailer it will be SC so question is is it for only we can send one GS one ST and uh, within a IS segment let's discuss in next slide so you can send multiple groups from fun functional group within one interchange group header, header and trailer that means the question would be what group we can send so for example like uh, you want to send multiple transaction purchase order invoice within one you know interchange then you can use two groups in one group you can send the purchase order in another group you can send the invoice it's also possible and as I said in one ISA and IA you can send multiple groups so is it possible for transaction header ST and AC let's find yes it's possible so for within one group you can send multiple transactions as well that means within one functional group header and trailer you can send multiple same transaction like 10 a purchase order you can send so what we have discussed here within one IS and IA segment interchange control header and control trailer you can send multi multiple groups and within the multiple groups you can send in one each group you can send multiple transactions as well let's take some example here multiple group example of multiple group GS and G so here you can see the ISA segment and ISA segment and uh, below that IA segment that, mean, that means you got a interchange header and you got a interchange trailer it's an envelope interchange envelope inside that you can find GS this is group functional header and you can see one GE as well that means the first group would be this is the header GS and this is the uh, G the functional this is group functional group header this is functional group trailer and you will have multiple groups let's take an example ST and AC as well yes you can find here one ISA and uh, IA and then you will have GS G, GSE multiple groups and inside there are multiple ST AC as well so what we understood here say within one envelope ISIA we can send multiple functional groups each functional group will have multiple transactions as well but thing is within one ISIA we can send different groups and within one group we can send same transactions like 850 we, we can say multiple 850 we can send multiple 810 we can send multiple 820 and uh, you know though this is ST 850 you can find here PO purchase order like this for others also invoice you can find IN so it will be helpful to understand um, the structure hope and here the complete structure ISA you will have ISIA multiple GS G and inside that multiple ST and AC thank you thank you very much hope this session will help you a lot